Stephen Tobia, followed by Maureen Cohen. My name is Steve Toby. I live at 317 Boeing Court in Abingdon, Maryland. The purpose of government is to ensure the welfare and safety of its citizens. And we the people applaud members of this council who have submitted and approve of legislation that will do precisely that, protect the welfare and safety of its citizens. We are proud of your represent, representation and we stand behind you 100%. Walmart has called this legislation discriminatory. I would like to rephrase that and ask, what do you call a company that says legislation that will protect the welfare and safety of citizens discriminatory? Bill 1316 will not prevent large companies from building in Harford County, contrary to what many have said. It will just enable better oversight to ensure community is not adversely affected. Walmart opposes this because it will more closely scrutinize their development plan. Their concern is solely for themselves, regardless of the burden that it places on a community. Walmart's founding father once said, each Walmart store should reflect the values of its customers and support the vision they hold for their community. When companies abide by those words, legislation is seldom necessary. When companies are unable to or unwilling to police themselves, then legislation is required. Bill 1316's purpose is to ensure the vision and safety of the citizens are upheld. Since last July, the majority of this community has been saying, what an inappropriate place for a store of this size. The streets, as mentioned earlier, 924 two-lane road that 20 subdivisions dump out onto, who every time you want to go anywhere in this county, you're forced or necessary to use that, uh, that throughway. To put a store that's going to bring 10,000 cars where every time you get out on the road, you're subject to that traffic, is inconceivable. To add to that, the proposal of two additional traffic lights, specifically to enable Walmart to bring customers in and out of its, out of its uh, store. What seems really absurd is that Walmart has been welcomed in this community. They already have three stores. They have a store at Constant Friendship that nicely serves four communities, Joppa Town, Edgewood, Abingdon, Bel Air South. They have made their own provisions, their own engineers have designed a 30,000 square foot provision into that store. Ms. Nina Albert from Walmart said that super centers have a 35,000 square foot grocery section. Well, the Constant Friendship Sir, Store. You're going to have to bring your comments okay. to a close. The Constant Friendship Store already has 8,000 square feet with a 30,000 foot expansion, would serve the people nicely, and would also uh, provide what Mr. Henenberg from Walmart said a better shopping experience for all. In closing, I'll submit this to the Council. The legislation submitted provides for the safety and welfare of the people. If for any reason that this legislation, I'm confident this legislation will pass, but for any reason that Walmart were to be exempt from this legislation would be hypocrisy. It would say that a 75,000 square foot store should be scrutinized in a rural area, but that a store two and a half times that size. Sir, in a I'm well going to have to ask you a question. Okay, I'm closing. A store two and a half times that size in a well trafficked area should be exempt. Thank you, sir. I've gone four minutes, so I have to...